In this video, we're going to study the homogeneity property of production functions. The production function is homogeneous if after multiplying each input by a constant c, the constant can be completely factored out. Let's start with an example where we're not dealing with a homogeneous production function. So we have this production function, k is units of capital, l units of labor. We're going to multiply each input by c. So we got c here. Uh, keep in mind, since k is squared, c will be squared as well. Uh, c times l, c times k, and c times l. So let's try to factor out the c. So just doing a little simplification, 2c squared. Okay, that comes from this part, cl, and then we can factor out a c squared over here on the far right-hand side. And let's try to factor out some more. This is the best I can do. C equals the following. You'll notice in brackets we still have some C terms, so C cannot be completely factored out. And thus we have an example of a production function that is not, <clears throat> excuse me, homogeneous. Here's an example of a production function homogeneous of degree 1. Uh, the, the constant that is completely factored out will have an exponent of 1. Here's a production function. So C times units of labor, C times units of capital. We can factor out the C term completely here. Uh, in parentheses, we just have Q, so I can just rewrite it as C equals C times Q. And this is also an indication of constant returns to scale. So in the homo when we got uh, homogeneous of three degree 1, we're dealing with a constant returns to scale production function. A doubling of inputs would exactly double the firm's output. Another example, so multiplying each input by this constant c, simplifying a little bit here, c raised to the point 3, c raised to the point 7, adding up the exponents on the c terms, we just got c, c is completely factored out then, and another example of constant returns to scale, a production function that is homogeneous of degree 1. A production function homogeneous of degree less than 1 has a constant that is completely factored out, but this time with an exponent less than 1. Here will be our example. So multiplying k and l uh, by this constant c, simplifying a little bit, adding the exponents on the c terms. <clears throat> we completely factor out the c uh, term here, but C is raised to something less than one. We're dealing also with decreasing, <coughs> excuse me, decreasing returns to scale. <clears throat> and another example. Here we have a production function homogeneous of degree greater than one. Uh, it's constant when completely factored out. We'll have an exponent greater than one. Simplifying, rewriting by factoring out that c squared. In parentheses here, we just got q, so we could write it like this. And this would be increasing returns to scale. If we were to double our inputs, our output would uh, more than double in this case. And our last example Doing some simplifying, we get c squared in the numerator. We can factor out the c here in the denominator. And one final simplification, c squared divided by c is just c. We completely factored out uh, the c term. c is raised to the power of 1. Homogeneous to degree 1, constant returns to scale. If we were to increase each input by 10%, output would go up by exactly 10%. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.